So at this point you've probably already seen this type of app built with Nux3. Whenever you use the Nux link to route between pages, it's like it almost immediately jumps to the next page and back. But what if you want a little bit more of an app-like feel where the page transitions and it just looks a little bit better? Well, today we're going to do just that and I'm going to show you how. So this page is currently just a normal Nux page that has a Nux link to a post route. Uh, the post route lives within a folder that has an index.view and this page is basically just another page with two Nux links, one to read more and one to go back. I've given each page a little bit of a color style to see the transitions a little bit easier and um, these two tags are important for the routing. On the ID dynamic route, you can see that we have another page with a Nux link and this Nux link points back to the post page to go back and it's got a purple background. In global CSS, I've specified just a, a little bit of CSS to make it look uh, better so that we can see the transitions. And then we've added Tailwind for some easier styling. So the first thing you want to do is to define an export default of define Nux route middleware inside the middleware folder and a file called anything you want .global.ts. And the first thing we'll do is we're going to write a little helper function called get depth that basically just splits the path and counts the number of segments it has. So slash home and slash home slash about would be a deeper segment and then we check the to routes depth and the from route depth and then if the page we're going to has a deeper route then that means we have to navigate to the left side otherwise we need to navigate to the right side and the way we specify that is by adding meta to the route with to and from and then giving the page transition a name of page left or page right so before continuing, I just wanted to show you what the next few things are that we'll do in the layout page. So you can see that this is a representation of views transitions. Um, there are two states, which is the enter state and the leave state. When you're entering, you basically have three states within the enter state. So it's where you are entering from, what happens during the enter, and where you're entering to. So basically this is off screen or maybe just a state before entering and then while entering the transition will occur to the state where it needs to be when it's rendered on the page. And then same for leaving, we basically start at the point which we ended on enter and then we specify these from and to classes. So basically when you leave a page the opacity will start and in our case we're going to use positioning. It will start at a certain state and that's where it leaves from and then it will go to a certain state and that's where it basically leaves to and then what happens in between that state. So I hope this makes a little bit more sense for the next part. So now that we know a little bit more about transitions, we can set the active state for all the different transitions to the same thing, which is just transition all linear and then page left and page right will have opposite effects. The page left will enter from the right side which is 100% and that's where the right page will leave to and then the page left leave to would be to the left side where the page right enter would be from the left side and then they both would end up at the same spot which is just a zero translation so that means the page is just fully rendered where it is to make it a little bit more clear what's happening I'm just going to change the 300 milliseconds to one second so now we can have a look at the page and what happens. So if we go to the post route, you can see that the page correctly leaves to the left side because it's a deeper route and going to the next page as well. But there's this weird white screen thing occurring. And that's because the content is being stacked on top of each other. You can actually see that happening here in the console when I route to a next page. Momentarily, the div would be duplicated and that means that the pages are stacked on top of each other so the second page just pops in immediately when the first one disappears so how can we fix this issue well the first step that we might take is to add another property on the page transition called mode if we change the mode to i believe out in then it actually helps with this case where it won't stack 
but another problem will occur. Now that we've changed it, you can see that the transition goes back, but it still has this weird white screen that occurs. And that's because it first waits for the entire first page to disappear and then for the next one to come in. So we might be able to fix that by changing a few properties. But first, let's look at it at uh, real time speed as we would in an actual app. So you can see that it will cause this strange white flashing screen, um, which doesn't look very uh, interesting or nice. So let's scratch this uh, mode idea for a second and think about something else. Because we, what we really want to see is the two colors staying together and not separated by a white space. And the best way I could find to do this is to go back to the default layout and then within the active states, add a position of fixed and then just add a top of zero and also a right of zero and a left of zero. And what this does is it makes sure that while it's transitioning, the page is actually just static. And let's move it back to one second so we can see what happens. So now that we've added the new positioning, we can actually just go to the next post and you'll see that the colors stay connected, which means the pages are moving in sync. And this is great. Let's look at it in real time. Firstly, let's uh, change the duration back to something like 150 milliseconds and look at it in real time. Now that we've added real time, you'll see that the page transitions look just a little bit better. If I go to the home page and go to the next one, it really has that app type feel where the pages are replaced in a nice little slider. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. See you next time.